Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes and this video I'm going to show you uh, the erosion filters of World Creator and uh, we're going to texturize a really nice uh, rich uh, mountain terrain. So let's get started, I just will explain a few things and comment my video but uh, just relax and watch how I'm going to do this. So we're starting with a new terrain and uh, yeah, switching over to the real-time GPU, making things a bit faster. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm a really big fan of a uh, Sky Pro. It's really an awesome uh, asset, creating fantastic results. You can see here has a really nice skybox, really nice terrain, shading. So it's really beautiful what you can do with it. Uh, especially the final final pictures are really awesome. Okay, so um, now let's do some nice terrain. I'm going to add a terrain filter. I'm going to add a rich filter. Oh, I just forgot I don't really have to use this. And um, let's go and see if we can find a good shape of a terrain that looks great. Let's increase a little bit the resolution. So, yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's that's nice. Let's take this one. So, increase a little bit the detail. And now, um, let's keep it. Switch over to real time. And I add a nice Erosion filter. I'm going to add the. Uh, I'm going to show you two different ones. Uh, this one is uh, erosion with uh, sedimentation, and this one is erosion only. <coughs> so applying the erosion only creates a really nice shape. And now we can adjust a little bit, like here, strength. See, it's done in real time pretty awesome. If you just reduce a little bit the uh, the basic you can make it a little bit smoother uh, or we can create something totally crazy like this. I don't want that so let's keep it at maybe 80 that would be great. Rich is okay so far. And here we could check if strength like this is pretty nice so this is this is just one setting so actually this is the result of this uh, first erosion filter which is pretty nice um, okay quickly try the other one uh, let me just disable this one here and add the other train filter do the sedimentation you will see that you get a totally different result now I'm going to switch between them. Try to remember this picture. You have more flat areas. It looks very natural. Uh, or you have real deep, deep uh, curves in the terrain. So um, I'm not sure what I would prefer now, but uh, I will go with this one here first. So I'm going to remove this and. Yeah, I'm going to keep this terrain now. Here to confirm. And I'll, let's start texturing it. Okay, so we're going to do first with uh, applying first some grass texture. Can we use? I'm using always the same grass texture. I don't know why, but it's really beautiful. And let's adjust a little bit this thing. Now add some rock textures. I also use sometimes the same rock textures. Um, but this time I want to have something interesting. So um, I want to uh, apply these rocks here at. Uh, 
between the between these edges here by increasing also the strength a little bit. like this nice now I want to do something really interesting because I want that uh, I want some moss rocks that should be applied um, at the opposite of the sun direction so I'm going to use the sun you can see I have to drag and drop a sun or some kind of a light object in here <coughs> which is actually my sun here and now let's see uh, that we're going to do this for uh, the wait, 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 for the cavity <coughs> oh God, makes this okay Go to invert some direction now. Apply texturing. Should reduce tiling also. And just increase the weight of this texture a little bit. And because uh, the sun. this actually so we not we cannot see it right now because uh, yeah these parts are not shadow I'm trying to make them visual for you you can see here the differences here is applied so we keep this shape because I want to keep the texture applied here <coughs> I generate again and now let's do some some different grass and some other locations convex and we want that only at the lower areas oh it's a trend slope sorry like this a few things have changed and now I want to have some snow top these areas like this that's perfect that's really nice and now let's add some snow on it. Here we go. Now a little bit increasing the weight. Let's get a bit stronger. Here we go. So that's really nice now. And now let's populate this terrain. Oh, we could add some, some mud, maybe also some dirt. Let's see what we can do here. Let's take this texture and apply dirt along a mask this mask should be generated dynamic and only a specific height something like specific slopes also so giving it something like this just to make it a little bit crispier <coughs> now we, there we go yes oh that's okay that's just fine it looks nice good 
and now we're going to populate this uh, because it's a kind of a canyon, uh, not a canyon, it's a kind of a mountain. Uh, we will have to use some nice trees which are of course used inside mountains. So I'm just going to place a few trees in here and we're going to select where we can place them perfectly. The first is, could you use something like this? Yeah. So this start here. Oh wait. Could I disable these trees here? Let's look how they're gonna place them. Okay. Well, so this is really awesome. Looks very natural actually. And well, you know what? I think before doing this, I'm going to duplicate it because I like the settings of it. Just changing the model a little bit. So we we'll use the same behavior here, but uh going to do that this a little bit. and um, increasing the strength also place it in the trees Here maybe less less of this <coughs> so now we got some nice trees applied. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Closer to all this stuff here. Oh, it looks really nice. Oh, we can see that the height is still aligned. So yeah, that's good because we can fix this very quickly by selecting this texture here and say you wanna have a dynamic noise map applied <coughs> and now I just let's check that we make it a bit more like this more irregularity is always better things like that let's go on here we go awesome really really nice I love that See now it looks much better. Let's lay over to different terrain over here. Yeah, pretty awesome. Good. Now let's put on some grass here. <coughs> here we go, some details. Um going to uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh no, I'm not going to use these grass. I have different grass. Like uh, here we go. Let's put on this here. Let's see. Should only no. We're gonna do this to apply this only at uh, the grass textures here. <coughs> and also for this, we're going to reduce a little bit. Height, thing like this. I'm going to use. Uh, this looks pretty nice now. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's okay. Let's move all the height a little bit. Things like that. And uh, yeah, we're going to duplicate it, put in some other grass, and we could duplicate it again and drop in something else. And here we could reduce a little bit the slope, 
Are there slope values in here? That's that's just perfect now. That's okay. Oh, we can leave the slope as is. It's not really, oh yeah, maybe something like this. Get generate. And now let's see if we have grass on our ta train. Here it is. Let me just focus it. Let's zoom in. Better results. So now let's add some flowers. on the grass texture but uh, using the occurrence and um, slope, slope values like this just better. don't want too much flowers else it will not look very natural not everywhere are flowers Let's see how this looks like. <coughs> oh, that's okay. It's pretty nice. Because I like it, could drop in just another flowers again. Same settings here, applying the texture. What did we use here? <coughs> I could use the same texture here again. And uh, like this. Strength, that's good. And now give it a nice mask. and see how it looks like. So... Ah, here we got some. Okay. Good. Now, that's it. It looks pretty awesome, I love it. Looks very natural. So I can believe this is a uh, really nice terrain that has been created uh, we could maybe just quickly see how this terrain would look like if I'm adding the other erosion filter simply adding here it is uh, with a sedimentation and uh, disable this regenerate should look a little bit different yeah totally different pretty nice whoa that's great oh it's great yes that's really whoa looks pretty awesome I love that <laughs> see where the textures nice how the how the how the uh, details distributing only on the grass textures you can see here quite clear how it works same here pretty awesome okay so that is texturing with a new version you see more possibilities faster um, yeah even for higher resolution maps could go up to 2k without any problem it's still fast and it looks still promising and fantastic Okay, thanks for watching, bye bye.